Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a great week. As usual, I'm busy at work, busy down here. I'm going to California next week for uh, five days, and I'm trying to get some work done uh, in the basement fish room, preparing for a large fish order. I have to drill and set up three tanks. <coughs> I'm fine. By the way, Michael's Fish Room I'm Fine t-shirts are now available on Teespring. Links in the description below. In our live stream from Saturday, you guys asked for it. Boom, I gave it to you. All right, fishy folks, before we move ahead with this unboxing, live unboxing, do me a favor, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And then check out michaelsfishroom.com. And check out Michael's Fish Room on Teespring because you can buy some shirts like this gray one. All right, fishy folks, I got a box in the mail from the rock lady, my friend Ruth from uh, Third Planet Treasures. Uh, I did an unboxing of her fantastic lava rocks, linked somewhere up here uh, a couple weeks ago. And she really liked my unboxing. And she's like, you know what? I want to send you some more stuff. And I'm like, I want you to send me some more stuff. I love free stuff. So let's see what's in this box. Got the man knife. Be careful. We don't want to cut anyone. First, I also have to say, Ruth, the box is upside down. But I love you anyway. All right, here we go. It's a small box, and it's light. And it says Fragili on it, so it must be from Italy. I think I've used that joke before, but it's still funny. We all know where it's from, right? Let me know in the comments below. All right. A love letter. Michael, thank you for your consideration. <coughs> Fine. You know, <laughs> one of the stupid people that comment on my videos and want to start crap and they're stalking me, and they must have a crush on me because they watch every video and comment on everything, and I really like it. Mention I probably have tuberculosis because I coughed a couple times in the fish room. Yeah, that's a smart thing to say. Anyway, Third Planet Treasures, www.aquariumlavarocks.com, Ruth Fishpack, a.k.a. Rock Lady. Thank you for your live box opening consideration. In this box, samples of aquarium fiber-rich wood we carry and raw zeolite pouch and lava media filter bag. Fiber rich woods, desert mesquite, chola wood, chala wood. How do I say it? I said chola once and somebody was like, you're gonna get all kinds of nasty email. I get nasty emails, but not because I pronounce them. And river driftwood. Raw zeolite pouch. I created this pouch for our raw zeolite pebbles. It hopes it would be versatile in a variety, variety of filters. That's a variety. It can stand up or lay down for layering. It also, it is also reusable with a Velcro closure so the pebbles can be recharged or replaced when needed. Lava media filter bag. I created this bag in hopes it will fit nicely into small areas of hang-on bag filters, along with incorporating it into other media filter options. Perhaps you have some ideas for its uses. Perhaps I will. It too is reusable, so the media can be replaced if needed. Please let me know what you think. Sincerely, Fish Lady. I can't wait to see what you sent me. Reusable raw zeolite pouch. Reusable lava filter bag. River driftwood. I love me some driftwood. Ooh. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. That looks good. And, oh, that's a nice piece. I might have to put one of these upstairs to look nice. Down here, I'm just going to put them in pleco tanks so plecos can gnaw on them. <laughs> Nicely packed. Ruth Fish Lady, this is mesquite. I love me some mesquite and smoker. I swear I'm not going to smoke this. Probably. Maybe. So this piece, oh, this is a nice piece too. Huh. Mm. All right. Last piece. Very well packed. This is the Chala, Chola, whatever wood. Ooh, it's like a slingshot. Thank you, Rock Lady. Check out Rock Lady's website. Stand by. 
want to get this all away so I don't destroy this this gorgeous wood. Guys, don't forget to check out Third Planet Treasures, www.aquariumlavarocks.com. There will be links down below. All right, let's take a look at this reusable raw zeolite pouch. So she sent me this hunk of zeolite. I don't really know what to do with it. I have to ask her. What the heck is that? Sorry. Oh, this is nice. It's like got chambers. So it'll fit in a hang on back like this. Probably can squish it like that. Ooh, I gotta see. Does it have to be rinsed off? I would probably rinse it off first. Let's check out the lava pouch. The lava rock pouch. Y'all know I love me some lava rock. This is a bigger size, see? Two different size pouches. Lava rock pebbles. I have to open it to see what they look like. Because I'm curious. I will probably spill them everywhere. Probably. Talks amongst yourselves. Here we go. They're exactly what advertised as lava rock pebbles. All right. I like these little pouches with the chambers, Rock Lady Ruth. She messaged me something about Rock Lady. And I told her that's all I'm going to call her from now on is Rock Lady. She had this tied so nicely. I'm probably going to jack this all up. All right, I am going to set it up in one of my hang on back filters. And I'll be right back. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and get a snack and a beverage. And of course, let me know in the comments down below what it is. I just had dinner. I made some pretty kick ass enchiladas. Mm. We had uh, yellow rice and corn with garlic. I always put garlic in my corn and a little butter. Why? Because garlic is awesome. All right. Snack and a beverage, stand by. All right, fishy folks, I've added the zeolite pouch to my AquaClear hang on back. Uh, by the way, I just did a review and sort of how to supercharge this AquaClear. There will be a link somewhere in this general area as well. But um, the zeolite pouch has a Velcro enclosure. It is a custom pouch that Rock Lady has made for this particular application meaning being put in a hang on back filter. So what is the purpose of zeolite? Well, uh, most people use it to remove ammonia and it can be charged, recharged up to three times when it loses its uh, ammonia removing capabilities and it's recharged using salt. I don't know exactly how to do that. Uh, I would imagine the instructions on how to recharge the zeolite is on the website uh, from Third Planet Treasures, which as you know, that website is www.aquariumlavarocks.com. A couple things about zeolite. Uh, some people, there's some controversy whether to leave it in the tank 24 hours, seven days a week. Some people remove it, some people don't. Ruth told me personally, she leaves it in her tank 24 seven and it works fine. Uh, Ruth gets her zeolite from a mine near her home in New Mexico that she has access to and uh, it's pure zeolite. The other thing to be cautious of if you're going to use zeolite, you can't use salt and zeolite at the same time. So if you want to add salt to your tank, you know, for uh, medicinal reasons or uh, because you're raising guppies and you like to add salt to your guppy tanks, uh, you really shouldn't do that. The salt will help release the ammonia from the zeolite and that could obviously cause a big ginormous problem and we don't want that. So I'm gonna leave the zeolite in the tank. Uh, I don't have ammonia problems, but I'm gonna leave it in there, see what it looks like in a couple days, figure out how to recharge it, figure out do I have to clean it off, uh, in my particular hang on back setup, that's where the Z I would put the zeolite obviously, because in this particular setup, the water comes in through here and then goes down this channel and then up through the sponges. So we have uh, obviously filtration, mechanical filtration before it hits the zeolite. Um, 
couple other things with uh, with third planet treasures they have fantastic hardscaping and uh, obviously wood uh, and and lava rock as I did that video with lava rock make sure you check that website out uh, it's a small business and I love doing business with small business um, no big corporate BS if you know what I mean all right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns over zeolite or the wood that I just got, leave me a, a comment below. Any questions, you can send me an email. Don't forget to let me know what snacks you have, and peace. All right, fishy folks, I have put the zeolite pouch, which uh, has a Zelcro? What the hell is Zelcro? All right, guys, before we get started with this box unboxing open, holy crap. All right, fishy folks, before we get through, before we, I <coughs> cannot use salt in your tank as there's some uh, uh, possibility that using the salt will, will, uh, make the ammonia be released. What am I trying to say? 